First of all, I want to say we're living in a time in which you need more God than you have right now. I have to say to you, you need more anointing to be able to do more for the Lord in this hour. I have to tell you that we are running out of time. The king is coming and you need to be ready for the king. His majesty the king is coming. You need to be found busy after the work of the kingdom. Doing what God has called you to do. Being at the center of his will. That's the call of the hour. It's a call to, a, to higher ground. To, the, to summit living. Mountaintop living. You remember when Jesus took the three disciples on top of the mountain. He transfigured before them. He said, I want to show you the real Jesus. The one you have not seen. I'm opening your eyes to see into the fourth dimension of who I am. God wants you to climb up to the top of the mountain and have a miracle of your eyes being opened to see things that you've never seen before, to hear things you've never heard before, because there's more that God wants to show you than what you have already experienced and seen in your life. The message is about reclaiming everything the enemy has stolen from you to get back what the enemy has taken away from you because you were created in the likeness of god you were created with the ability to walk as jesus walked this earth he came to demonstrate to us what it is to be a child of the most high god is to walk in power in dominion in authority it's for you and me to to imitate jesus just look at jesus if you want the example of who you are, God wants you to be a replica of Jesus Christ. He wants you to talk like Jesus. He wants you to think like Jesus. He wants you to have the hallelujah days like Jesus. Every day with Jesus was amazing. Miracle path, miracle path, supernatural manifestations. That's the call that God has placed upon you. To step into the fourth dimension and see the hand of God in the land of the living. From glory to glory, from victory to victory, He wants to lead you. What is your destiny? First of all, let's define what a destiny is. The destiny is God's master plan for your life. You were created unique. You were created the only one of your kind. There is no other person on this earth that was created like you and God when he made you he made you for a specific purpose that you alone can fulfill that purpose there is no competition I'm talking about the, the uniqueness of your personality the uniqueness of who you are there is no other you in the whole universe you are the only one nobody's gonna do what God has created you to do The problem is people want to replicate somebody else's testimony. People want to live according to somebody else's life. They, it's either a testimony of a missionary or a testimony of a book you read and you want to, to be that person. You cannot be that person. You cannot be that person because God made you unique. You are the only one for a destiny that God prepared for you. What is a destiny is the plan of God, the master plan of God. Why he created you. You were created for a master plan. And that master plan, God ordained it, prepared it, and paid for it. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, glorious works, amazing works, wonderful works. That he prepared for you right now. Which God prepared beforehand. You don't have to conjure it up. You don't have to, to, to create it. You don't have to think through it. You don't have to do anything. All you got to do is come into alignment. And all the good works God preordained will unfold before you. Unfold before you. Hallelujah. Imagine waking up to, a, to the plan of God. 
waking up to the things that God preordained. What God has preordained is protected by the sovereignty of God. That means whatever it is God has called you to do, there is not a power on earth that can stop you, can hinder you, can steal from you, because greater is He that's in you than He that is in the world. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You, you understand what I'm talking about? There is not enough demons in the world to steal what God has asked for you. You only yield to the demons of doubt and unbelief, to the demons of anger and bitterness and unforgiveness to hold you back. You can choose to say no to the devil and he cannot hold you back because greater is he that called you, that he fetches you, that lives in you and he wants to walk with you and he wants you to become more like Jesus. Thank you. What is my destiny? My destiny has been prepared for the world. My destiny has been paid for by the Almighty God. God won't give you a wrench that He has not preordained before the foundation of the world. God won't tell you to get a wrench and not pay for, for that wrench. He'll give you all the money to buy it because it's His plan, His will, His bill, His vision, His provision. Hallelujah. Therefore, you cannot say, I couldn't do what God told me to do. How could that be? I couldn't fulfill what God called me to do because the, the, the devil was bigger. The devil was hindering me. You let him. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Give him the left foot of fellowship and just throw him out. Because he's stealing all the blessings that you have. He's stealing the finances that God wants to give you. He's stealing all the relationships that God wants to give you. He's stealing everything. He's stealing your friends. He's stealing America. He's stealing everything. He's stealing you dry. Because he's taking you away from your destiny and giving you his plan for you, which is destruction, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, woundedness, hurts. It's a miserable life outside your, the master plan. God's destiny for you. It's a, when you're out of God's destiny, you are miserable because you're a failure. Everything you do doesn't work because God doesn't want you to do it. If God tells you to do something, it will come to pass because God say that. Destiny. Destiny is what God prepared for you before the foundation of the world. I want to tell you something. When He prepared your destiny, He made all the provision for you to fulfill the destiny. There's all the money you need, all the relationships you need, all the doors you need open, everything prepared before the foundation of the world. We do the done. It is done. It is finished. We just step into it and we just, we, we just ride with God. I mean, He is in the driver's seat. I want you to understand something. That your life could be more exciting, more glorious, more wonderful if you let go of your agenda. If you'd let go of all the wisdom that people tell you and advise you and your stinking thinking, if you'd throw away all that and say, God, your will be done in my life. Thy will be done in my life. You know, when he says, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, what earth is he talking about? This earth, this earthen vessel. His will being done in this earthen vessel as it is in heaven. There is no disappointment in heaven. There is no woundedness and hurts and frustration and anger in heaven. When you are in his presence, there's fullness of joy, pleasures forevermore. In his presence, in his presence, walking in his presence, you are the happiest person, the most fulfilled person, the most blessed person, too blessed to be stressed. Just hallelujah to God be the glory. You are just amazed at the provision of God, at the kindness of God, at the favor of God. And you come to a closed door and you just say, Jesus, and the whole thing blows open. Hallelujah. I want you to know that your life is just about to begin. A life you desired, a life of the supernatural. A life of the impossible. A life that the world will stand in awe and say, wow, the wow factor, the wow factor. It's a, your life is a wow because I can't compete with you. Your calling is unique. There is not one in the universe that can fulfill your calling. Your provision is unique. 
everything God wants you to do has already been prepared and prepared by God. There is nothing that can stop you. Whether people like you to experience His power, His grace, His love, His, His, His provision, it doesn't matter what they think. It's what the Father thinks of you and He is singing a love song over you. He, he is so in love with you. He doesn't see you the way you see you. He doesn't think about what you are thinking about. He loves you. He's singing a love song. He sees Jesus in you. Because when He looks at you, He sees the blood that purchased you. And He's delighted in you because you have been made righteous through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah.